Hi everyone and welcome back to another update video. So today I'm extremely excited for this week's update. It is Halloween. You can see the pumpkins behind me. I am so excited. I've seen some um I've seen some people riding the new horse or horses that came out with this week's update for the Halloween and I'm trying not to look at them, but I love the horses so much. So let's get right into the update. So this week's update is called Spooky Times on Jorvik. So the first update is called Welcome to Galibur's Keep. All the children of Jorvik have heard the spooky legend of the headless rider known as Galibur Thompson. Most may have believed this tale to be nothing but a scary story, but then how would you explain the portals that show up on Jorvik around Halloween? Enter any of the many portals scatter scattered around Jorvik to venture to Galibur's Keep the homestead of Galloper Thompson himself. Always riding his magnificent Yorick wild horse, this legend now invites you to his home for a limited time. So the portals are all over Yorick. I'm at Steve's farm now because there's one very close to Steve's farm, but they're all over Yorick. And you can travel to Galloper's Keep even if you're not a star rider, so that's really nice. So everybody can experience it and I'll show a picture of what the portal looks like and I'll show a picture of Galper's Keep. So, I'll tell you everything you could do at Galper's Keep. So, it says throw soul shards and the keep's called cauldron to get rewards. Experience moments from Galper Thompson's past in a scary race. The popular Scarecrow Hill race is back again. Explore two different Halloween shops. Three magical horses are hoping to find a forever home in your stable and get magical powders to transform your starter horse. So all that sounds super exciting. And keep on watching because I'm gonna tell you even more about the details. So I'll tell you about the soul shards next. In the middle of Galloper's Keep, you'll find a huge cauldron thirsting for orange soul shards. If you drop five soul shards into the bubbling emerald potion, you might get yourself a reward. Some of you might have, some of, some of you might have some green soul shards from last year. This cauldron will only accept orange shards though. If you happen to have green shards left from last year, you could sell them for Yorvik shillings. You'll find some soul shards when participating in the two races at Galper's Keep, and you'll find even more when talking to the ghosts around the keep and figuring out what locations they're talking about. If you're very lucky, you might even stumble upon the shards while exploring Jorvik, but the ghosts might give you some helpful hints. Every weekday, you could talk to three different ghosts. You can also find shards from the brand new treasure hunt, and I'll tell you more about that in a bit. And there's a total of 10 items to collect, and there's a picture of what it looks like this year's Halloween outfit looks like, and it looks like there's some purple, some orange. That saddlebag looks really cool. Before I keep reading more about the update, I should really get into the portals. So over at Steve's, if you're by there, you just have to go alongside the village and then you'll see the portal. So the portal is right here and you could just go through it. Yes, you can. And it says traveling to Galloper's Keep. Ooh, there's an intro. By the way, um, yeah, what I was talking about, that picture right there is also the background when you're logging in. Wow, look at this. It looks super cool, and Galloper Thompson is right up there. So this is Galloper's Keep. Okay, so we had that little intro there. I should have brought um, that horse right there. I forgot. I should have brought it. Oh well. So let's go over the bridge and wait, was that Violet Flower Garden? Wait. Oh my gosh. Okay, anyways. Okay, let's go and oh, this is what the orange shard is going to look like. More. I require more soul shards. Brave one who dares to invade this keep, welcome. It has been too long since a living soul set foot upon this rock. I desire the objects known as the soul shards. 
I beseech you, seek them out and deliver them to me. Seek out the competitions and conquer them to be awarded with soul shards. Seek the restless spirits that wander this keep and find their soul shards to set them free. Return the soul shards you obtain to me and you shall be rewarded. Until we meet again, may you ride in peace. Okay, so we could exchange them again. We need five to get a reward, so let's go check out everything they have here. So as I said, there's some shops. This one looks like there's masks here. Well, not just masks. You can get, it looks like, um, the bridle, the blanket, and the leg wraps, which I already own, because last year that was the outfit, so I already own that, and also the saddle pack, bag, there's also mummy stuff, there's just a ton of stuff, so, <laughs> look at all these masks, it's, it's, yeah, there's a lot of things in here. So I'm going to close that and let's check out this other shop here. So here it looks like we have all of the horse powder. So you can transform your horse into mummies and all of that. And we have another shop here. That one's actually just the same. So, okay. I know I didn't read everything about what they have here in Galloper's Keep. So I'm going to keep reading on. Okay. The next one says Halloween horses. Three magical horses have wound up on one of the tiny islands surrounding Galloper's Keep, and they want nothing more than to leave this haunted place to explore the worlds of Yorick, made together with you. One horse is familiar to those of you who have experienced our Halloween celebrations before. A giant Yorick wild horse, almost identical to Galloper Thompson's ghostly mare, hopes to be able to join you on your adventures. This scary-looking but, but still quite friendly giant will join your horse collection for 599 star coins. This Yorvik wild horse is available until November 6th, and you cannot change its main style. And I'll put a picture on the screen of what it looks like, and then I'll introduce you the two new horses. You can actually see one in the background over there. Um, it says the Pepida, also known as the Gorge Horse, is a breed beloved in Yorvik folklore. Farmers believe seeing this beauty is a good luck omen, especially during the autumn season when they seem to appear more often. The woo deer might look scarier than the social pepta, but this fungal equine neighs louder than it bites. In fact, not a single wood deer, woo deer bite has ever been reported on Yorvik. The woo deer is actually blind, and much like the ancient trees of Yorvik, it communicates with its kin through the ground of the island. Both of these special horse types show their true colors in wild places while concealing their appearances in populated areas. In fact, if you are to come across one in a village, you might even confuse it with a fjord horse. Both the Pepta and the Woo Deer can be adopted for nine I mean for eight fifty star coins each, and are for now only available at Galloper's Keep up until November sixth. They are both resistant to the colds in Dino Valley but cannot change main styles. It says they're now only available, so does that mean it's like you can only get them this year? I'm confused. Um, I'm not sure. I'll have to see, but there's a picture. I love these horses so, 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 so much. So there's a picture of what it looks like in its natural form and then in its wild form. These horses look amazing, and I haven't even seen them in game. I'm going to go right now because I cannot wait. So it says it's on one of the islands over here. So, oh, I think they're over here. There's a lot of people. I've already seen a lot of people riding them. So as you could see, this is um, the horse that was first available last year. If you want that one, 599 star coins. Or the two new horses. This one right here, oh my gosh, it is so detailed. So the breed is Pepida. I'm not sure if you how you say it, but again, it tolerates cold and it's a magic horse. Level restrictions are level one. So if you can, everybody can go into the portal since, you see, you could see a non-star riders here. So and here's the other one. They look so, so detailed and its mane and tail are green. And it, like, look at the leg markings. Like these horses are so, so 
details and they just look so amazing. Leave me your thoughts down below on these horses and if you bought them and what you named them. I don't know if they'll be back next year or not. I'm still a little confused on that. It isn't super clear, but hopefully they'll come back back again next year. But let's keep reading. I think the next thing we're going to talk about is the race here. Yeah, so actually there's two races. It says two spooky races. The hugely popular races, the Headless Horseman's Herring Race and the Soul Shards on Scarecrow Hill are back again. You can access them both through portals at Galloper's Keep and by playing them you'll be able to earn Soul Shards once a day. So I want to check out the races. So let's go so let's see exactly where they are it looks like one of them is over here so let's go talk to the scarecrow so it says the soul shards on scarecrow hill so this is a scarecrow hill race and i'll give you 150 xp for your horse and three soul shards so i'm gonna go do the race now and i'll be back when i finish the race Okay, so I was able to complete the first race. I was getting a little hard toward the end because a lot of those were appearing on the ground. I'm not sure what they're called, but that was a really fun race. I wish I would bring back the Scarecrow race um, by Golden Hills, well, in Golden Hills, um, like as a daily race. So as you could see, I got my XP and I got my Soul Shards, so now I have three Soul Shards. I can't quite get an item. But it says there's an other race so it looks like this is the other race so let's go see what this one is this is called um old what's well, old gallopers chilling journey and this gives you 75 um xp for your horse and three soul shards so i'm gonna go do this race now and i'll be back when i finished it that was a really fun race oh geez um and so now i collected six of these so i can get one of the items so just by doing this race every day you can get six total so i'd like to go trade them in now so i think i'm gonna go do that and i'll tell you more about this week's updates so let's go trade them in so you go right over here and i can only get one item but let's see what we get Okay, so let's see what we got. It looks like we got the gloves. So this is part of this year's Halloween. 
And yeah, so I got the gloves, so I'll keep collecting more and hopefully get the whole outfit. And I have one left over, so I'll read more about this week's update because that is not all. Okay, so as in the shop that I went to, there's some magic horse powders. At one of the shops in the keep, you'll be able to buy some epic magical powders. If you use them on your starter horse while standing in front of it, it will gain a cool Halloween look for a short amount of time. There are six different powders with different looks and effects. Make sure to try them all to find your favorites. All players will be able to see your horse's new look while the special effects will only be visible to you. Whenever you use a powder on for your horse, it will be active for 30 minutes unless you choose to turn it off. These shops will also be present back in Yorbeck, so you can easily stock up on cool effects. Remember, this powder only works on your starter horse. And there's a picture of some of the different powders, so it looks like a skeleton, um, a zombie, and a mummy. So they're pretty cool if you want to buy one. Another update, another part of this Halloween update says watch out for the pumpkins. Old Jasper Hallbrook is having issues at his farm in Golden Hills Valley. The water he uses in a sprinkler on the pumpkin fields has been contaminated by Pandoric magic, and suddenly, he doesn't only have living scarecrows to worry about, but now the pumpkins are coming, coming to life and Jasper is in desperate need of some help. After you've helped Jasper with his initial pumpkin patch problems, you're nowhere near done. So it looks like there's some kind of quest. You can see I have a quest, so it's called Jasper's Pumpkin Patch Problem, and then this is a thing you can trade in. So I'm going to go head over to Jasper and do the quest, because, yeah, seems like it's fun, so we'll hopefully try and help him out. Okay, so I just arrived at Jasper's and... Idris? What's Idris doing? Oh no, what's he up to? Ooh. <gasps> Look at that. That's really cute. Okay, so we had that little um, preview, so it seems like Idris has something to do um, with this thing, and now the sprinkler is putting all this Pandoric magic on the pumpkins, so I'm sure Jasper isn't too happy. So let's go talk to Jasper. Great Galloper's Ghost, my pumpkins are possessed. I was on my way to snap a few of my prized pumpkins from the vine, take to market when, lo and behold, the pumpkin snapped back. Pumpkins hopping about like little hellions. It's a disaster. Justine, you have to help get the sinister squashes under control. Click on the possessed pumpkin. Find and click on the three pumpkin sprouts. Bring the sprouts back to the possessed pumpkin. Okay, so we have a little task to do here. Okay, so I think you have to click on each of these things oh yeah and it follows you as well okay and then do i bring it back to this i think okay so i managed to do it it was just a little confusing but i just had to find these three sprouts and then click on the big pumpkin would you look at that they're a family they aren't so frightening now that you brought them back together huh what's that it looks like some sort of treat for you Thank you kindly for helping get my patch under control. But now that my prized pumpkins have personalities, I can't rightly sell them to be mashed for pie. What am I going to tell Mrs. Haltsworth? Oh dear, oh dear. <gasps> Ooh, what's this? You better be able to get one as a pet. I think you can. Let's see what this thing is up to. 
So there's this board here, so it says, Limited time event, pumpkin hunt gameplay. Possessed pumpkins are loose in Golden Hills Valley. When you encounter possessed pumpkin, click on it to begin the hunt. When the sprouts run and hide, seek them out. Return to the pumpkin parent with all three sprouts, approach with care. The possessed pumpkin will reward you with a treat or maybe a trick. Deal with a trick and earn your treat, a shiny golden pumpkin. Redeem gold pumpkins at pumpkin shop for special rewards. So this is the pumpkin hunt prize shop and you can exchange your golden pumpkins for a special reward. And it looks like I have one of them, right? Yeah, so I have one of the golden pumpkins, I guess, from finding them here. So it looks like you can get different prizes by exchanging them. So I have one of them, so it looks like I could get 125 XP from my horse. And I'm not sure what this thing is. But let's go and do that. So my reward is 125 XP. So I guess I didn't get a trick that time. So that's really nice, and I guess you can collect all of them. You could, If you collect 20 at a time, it looks like you could get one of these as a pet, so I was right. Um, so let's close this. And I guess, are they, can you do this, I guess, all over, all over Golden Hills then, in different locations? It looks like you can't do it a second time here, but maybe if I go to other parts, I'll be able to see them. Yeah, because I don't think I could catch any more here. I'm not sure if it's only once a day thing, or I think they might be in different places. So it says, these golden pumpkins can be exchanged for rewards right by Jasper's Pumpkin Patch or at Galper's Keep. Collect as many golden pumpkins as possible to get all the rewards, which can include anything from horse XP to a new adorable walking pet. And to be able to play these quests, you must be a star rider and have completed the quest where you open the gates to Golden Hills Valley. And there's a picture of what um, I just did in the quest. So, yeah, I'm still not sure if it's only a once-a-day thing or if it appears in different places. I'll have to see more on that. But I know it's a big update, but we're getting there. The next one says the new icons in photo mode. We've added some spooky icons in the photo mode and all in all Halloween spirit. You'll reach photo, by, photo mode by clicking on the tiny cam camera icon at the top right of your screen or by pressing O on your keyboard. So I haven't seen these yet since I haven't gone to photo mode, so let's go into photo mode. Oh, you could add, um, so for the logo, you could have star staple here with some bats and pumpkins, or then you could have this squash thing, or then a pumpkin, or then a scary pumpkin, ghosts, bat, spider web with a spider, spider web, and that's all of them. And then you could choose where you want them on the screen, which corner. It looks like that's what they added, so that's pretty cool if you want to add some effects while you're taking some photos. That's kind of cool. Okay, so the next update says get your Halloween flare on. During Halloween on Yorvik, all beauty salons on the islands after offer four different Halloween style makeups. If you purchase them, you'll keep them forever at the vanity table in your home stable and can switch between them at any time. So there's some different makeup there if you want to get some different makeup. It's at any um, at any salon in Yorick. So the last thing it says coming next week. A pair of bright yellow eyes seem to be staring at us through the shadows of the keep, and rumor has it the ghosts of Silverglade Castle are slowly awakening. So maybe next week we'll have that little hunt in Silverglade Castle, but this week was a big update with everything from Halloween. So there was a lot. So um, I'll probably be making videos since the soul, soul shards you don't you don't only um, earn them through the through the races. You could, they're also um, if you talk to the ghost they'll, there they'll give you a hint. So I think I'm gonna be making a video during it, I think it said the weekdays. So I guess I'll make one for today. So if you want to know where where they are for the different days of the week, I think I'll be making videos on my channel to help you out and also so that I can collect some and to earn the whole outfit. I'm sorry, there's so many people here. Um, but yeah, and for this pumpkin hunt, I'm not sure if you can go to different places or maybe there's like a little pumpkin patch and you can maybe, you could earn some cool prices. So maybe I'll also do a bonus video on that. So stay tuned 
steps to hopefully more videos than usual this week with all the stuff and I'll expect there's even more next week so really good update again tell me if you got any of the new horses or even Galloper's horse if you couldn't get it last year um, but anyways I hope you enjoyed it don't forget to, to subscribe like this video turn on your notifications so you know every time I post a video and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!